ever realize that I'm your lecturer. And as a result, I remain the only one who can pass or fail you in this course. Why are you misbehaving in my office? There are lecturers in this campus that you can ask about Amanda or not to go. I'm not one of these girls that you force to bear to give passes on your cause or causes. I'm not willing to give you my body. I'm here to settle you with cash. How much? You just made an allegation against me. That I force girls to have sex with them before they pass my course or courses? That is a big fallacy of inconsistence to a lecturer of my status. Where is that coming from? Are you not the almighty Dr. Nkenkolo? The fear of Dr. Nkenkolo is the beginning of wisdom. In this institution that men like you have turned to cash and carry, we all know what you do. Tell me how much I must pay to jump over this huddle you've become for all the sexy looking girls in your class. I have to pass with orders next month. I'm willing to pay. I think I like you, young lady. You're talking like someone who has one of these useless corrupt politicians at her command. Look, 200,000 last. He is determined to feed fat on my child. This is 200,000 Naira. I wouldn't want people to hear our voices. That's why I've given you this 200,000 Naira, exactly what you asked for. Do what you must do. Different entities have different powers. Different entities have different powers. You have yours as a lecturer on campus, and I have mine as a lady who has seen it all. You have yours as a lecturer on this campus, and I have mine as a young woman who has seen it all. Let us not use our powers, sir. Let's not use our powers, sir. I don't blame you. I blame the calibers of men that have made leaders of this country. As it has pleased the creator of the things we see to give me only a child a daughter and no son to continue my lineage I shall turn that daughter of mine into a man in this land and nothing will happen men of all ages and men of all walks of life must continue to be obedient unto her O oh, ye ancient pot of manipulation, I urge you to rise through your breeze and make it possible for her to continue making money through men. Ultimately, she is going to bear me a son that will rise to be my successor. This is what I want. And this is what you must do for me.
was that? What was what? Amanda, are you still dragging your feet? Come follow me to fellowship and experience something new in your life. How many times have I told you to stop disturbing me, Ifonanya? Do you want me to fall out with you before you learn your lesson? Amanda, if you go to the book of Luke, chapter 4, verse 18, it says that the Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach deliverance to the captive. And the more I look at you, it becomes clearer to me that you need deliverance. Why are you not willing to give God a chance to do something new in your life? Do me a favor, Ifananya. Get down from my car, I'm going somewhere. Get lost. Pick the best from the best is the climax of all charms that any woman can get from this temple. Why are you back in this temple? Great one, please grant us the opportunity to see you one on one. We have something bothering us and it's only you who would solve it for us. We humble ourselves before Lord Bemuda, our Lord spiritual. You are the mighty one in Zion. I am bothered with your introduction because ladies who surrender themselves under the supremacy of this sacred order do not have problem dealing with loose men. Why are you here with the tales of problems? Money makes the world go round. Anyone that has money can easily make others his servants and loyalists. We are here because we're not making enough money for men. I don't understand what you mean by not making enough money for men. The charm that I gave you, pick the best from the best, makes it possible for you to see the very men that have money by men looking at them. I have given you that charm. That charm has never failed anyone. And I know it has not failed you. Why are you complaining? Great one. Recognizing men with money is one thing. Getting them to dish out this money is another thing. There is a babe named Amanda, a final year student. She has become so rich because any man she would follow would always give her money. Mm. That is because they so-called Amanda takes her time to deal with the men the way they have never experienced before. No man would go out of his way unless you go out of yours to hit him so hard. And I want to make this crystal clear to both of you. Sex is everything. Great Swan, it goes beyond that. Amanda has this charm that makes men restless until they do her bidding. I mean, she recognizes men with money just like us, but her charm does the wonders. When she asks men to give her millions of naira, they do that, exactly what she wants, without hesitating. We are here because we want to have what Amanda has. And I'll equally add, we are ready for anything. Everything. Now tell me. Does this Amanda told you that I am the one who gave her the charm that she is using? She has refused to disclose where she gets her charms from. We are here because you are great and we believe you can assist us. I want you both to remember that you are women. The charm that I have given you is stronger than what many men have. Utilize what you have. The ones you have now can give you everything you need. Just name it. So you do not need any other charms. Have I made myself clear? I'm beginning to believe he has lost his powers 
I will need to look elsewhere. <laughs> um, I'm more bothered about the last thing he said. Come on, we are women. And I don't think we are doing the right thing, gathering charms to cage men. You sure sound like someone willing to return to poverty. How do you mean? Don't leave men to their discretion. Because if you do, they won't get anything right. Allow them to give you money from their heart. Ugh, they will use you and tell you stories later. You will find yourself being used by different men every day. And yet, nothing to show for it. We need charms to make them pay for what they enjoy. That's what you should be thinking. It seems you're out and ready for men. <laughs> you can say anything you like, my dear. Listen, increasing number of men are looking for beautiful girls every day to use. And those useless girls are ready to give themselves free. No. I am a designer babe. Nobody, I mean nobody bangs me for free. <laughs> I am available at all times and at all places. But, girl, they must pay, and they must pay well. <laughs> you know what? You are very sick. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I am not the only one who is sick. You are sick. We are all sick because we live in a sick country where our useless political leaders can't get one policy right. <laughs> Man, <laughs> best of my knowledge, Amanda, your daughter is a student of Unity University. Final year student. Always remember that. What has that got to do with anything? It's your no do go. It has everything to do with it. You just told me that she bought your new car. Yeah, of course. Is it possible? How can a student buy a new car for her father? Hey, possibly because Amanda, my daughter, is different from others. Why are you looking at me as if you don't know there are people that are different from others? Listen to me. Amanda is one girl child that is bigger than 10 men put together. It's high time you sat her down and asked her questions. It's possible she's beginning to deal with criminals. And on that note of unceremoniously referring to my hard-working daughter as a criminal, I declare this meeting closed. If you would please just get up and hit the gate. And in your next life, do not gather anywhere to discuss my family or whatever that concerns my family. Because if you try it, I will kill you. Are you talking to me like that? And who the hell do you think you are? Is she a bear? Who the hell do you think you are to come into my compound and refer to my daughter as a criminal? Who are you, is she a bear? Because you're my brother, we need to kill you or something. Ah, you are ah, your way. Ah, get out of this place. I mean, your next class don't ever come into this compound again. Can you imagine me saying that? Calling my own daughter a criminal. Try it next time and I will blast you to hell. Because I know you are going to hell. Look at this idiot. Why are you in a hurry to leave? You can spend the night here. But you stay here with me. <laughs> but you know, <laughs> I can't just do that. What will I tell my wife? I have to leave. Okay. Call one of your friends to use the room. We came here to play and we're done with that. You're going back to your beautiful mansion and I'm going back to my place. What's the problem? And why is a millionaire like you complaining because you had a 50,000 naira room to play with a designer babe like me? I'm worth more than that. <laughs> I like the way you talk. <laughs> Thank you, darling. $2,000. My token for the wonderful time you spend with me. I'll need more money, darling. More, you need more than $2,000 for a round of sex? 
Come on. That's asking for too much. Yes. <laughs> You're so, so, so funny. I know you have lots of money. It's written all over you. You can give me 10 million naira and it will do nothing to you. 10 million what? 10 million naira idiot. Is my daughter not worth far more than that? I've already given you $2,000. Why are you asking for more? Calm down, Chief Menu. I'm not asking you to give me 10 million naira. I want you to give me 4 million naira. I want to do something very important with it. Do not think of saying no, because you don't have what it takes to say no. In fact, there is no man that can say no to my daughter. I need that money by noon tomorrow. You can call it work. My account number and bank details. Pay me the four million naira tomorrow. Don't fail. have no reason to bring down the price. This man is worth more than 10 million naira and he has the money. Men must continue to lust after you, my child, and they must continue to spend their money on you. Now that you have me, please speak. Because I just got home and I'm very tired. I need to take a shower. Anyways, I'm here with Helen and we would like to see you. I can't come out anymore today. No, 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 no. You don't have to come out, okay? We can drive down to your place. I don't entertain visitors in my place. You already know this. Amanda, please, there's something we would like you to explain to us. Okay, let's hear it. If you don't have credits, I can call you back. It's not about air time, babes. It's just that we wouldn't like to discuss the matter over the phone. Whatever it is, can wait till tomorrow, yeah? We can meet at a nice restaurant and talk over lunch. The bill is on me. Amanda, please wait. There is something bothering us, and we believe that you are the only one who could solve it for us. Whatever it is, has to wait till tomorrow. That's just the truth. I do not entertain visitors at my place, and I'm going to end this now. This Amanda has upgraded <sighs> so much. Why on earth would she not entertain visitors at her place? She's already in the class we aspire to be. Tomorrow is almost near the corner. Mm. Don't worry, we will see her tomorrow. Okay? I, I want, want you, you to, to give me four, four million naira. I want, I want to, to do something, something very important with it. I need that, that money by, by noon tomorrow. tomorrow. You, you can, can call, call it, it work. work. going to tell me what the problem is. I can't remember telling you of having any problem. Honey, I am 
am your wife and you are my husband. You've not been yourself ever since you came back. What is it? I wonder what you think you can do, woman. Stay out of this before I kill you. Honey, why are you not talking? Something is eating you up and I need to know what it is. It's not anything that will bother you. It's just a business calculation that I require to make. And I'm on it. I will not have it that my husband is telling me lies. But then I also know you're not telling me the truth. Can someone send words to this woman? Can I start to stay out of this? Let her understand that some truths are better left unsaid. the check and the money has not been paid. I have my reasons for withholding the transaction. What could the reason be? If I compound the check and the money is wired, it will ruin another transaction for me. Sir, this is Liu, your manager. There are no other transactions apart from the one I prepared today. Liu, you don't know all my transactions. Sir, you had been disturbed since morning. Could you tell me what the problem is? Because it is affecting our business. Manager, mind your business. Concern yourself with those businesses that concern you personally. But there is no business that is mightier than the business we have already presented to you both. My daughter and I have been on this business since yesterday. And we must collect that four million naira from you both. I need to pay four million naira to a private account before me. Four million naira? I'm, I'm sorry, sir, but... You cannot remit four million naira into a private account because it will affect our business, and our business will be jeopardized if we didn't pay today. Do you know what, Leo? You are just my manager. The company is mine. I decide what happens. I must remit four million naira before noon. I don't get this. Is this why you, you guys called me here? Did someone tell you I'm into charms? Amanda, you might get it all mixed up here. But we are not talking about charms. It is something weird. That is the thing that is making you get much money from men. We need it to guide us. We want it too. We want to get money from men. Men are no longer giving good money to girls. We want something that will force them to spend the money after enjoying what we have. I can say you're the one that knows me very well, for you are the one that knows where I'm coming from. Please, tell your girlfriend I'm simply a contractor making legitimate money. I don't know what she's talking about. Sorry. Amanda, please do not walk out on us, okay? 
don't walk out on us as if you don't know what you're talking about. We have our own secrets and we're not going to betray you. Right? You know exactly what we're asking for. So please help us. Darling, but I don't know what you're asking. Sorry. Amanda, don't do this. Amanda. The night when I initiated your daughter into the inner cycle of the temple of the living dead. Seeds of a journey were planted in her eyes. Once she looks into the eyes of any man with the intention of hypnotizing him so as to beg whatever from such man, the spirits of a journey will consume him and keep him restless until he satisfies you and your daughter. Most importantly, they will never, never have a trace of your daughter after she has gotten her request from them. Because the memory of what happened will immediately be wiped off their brains. I humble myself before you, the great Ajani of the Temple of the Living Dead. I know everything you are saying because they have been working perfectly well for me and my daughter since that initiation. I am not here to discuss that. Sincerely, I am here for something else. Possibly you've come here to find one or two things about it. the ladies that want to know what your daughter knows. Exactly, great one. They are making inquiries. They want to know what she knows. And I came to ask if I have your permission to bring them into this place, to hypnotize my daughter, so that she can bring them here for us to get them initiated into this secret place. I have an agenda, just as I am doing with my daughter. I also want to use those girls to make money from all these useless men that will never see women and look away. So, do I have your permission to bring those ladies too? <laughs> A man is coming to marry your daughter. Are you aware of this? No, I'm not aware of that. And it's not possible. Because I have already settled it in my heart that Amanda, my daughter, is never going to be married to any man. She is the only one I have. And therefore, I will continue to manipulate her through the pot of manipulation that I already set up. I want to use her to make all the money that I can make from all these useless men that will look at her and they will never, not be able to look somewhere else. Then finally, great one, one of those useless men we put her in the family way, and she's going to bear me a son. That son that she will bear will be the one that will inherit everything in my family. I don't want to discuss personal decisions as made by you concerning your life. I can see a man coming to marry your daughter. His arrival is already creating tension in your part of manipulation. That should be your concern and not the activities and inquiries of some of ambitious girls. Mm. Mm. Ajani. Sir, I was trying to stop it this morning. I was even explaining to you the implications of losing four million naira. But you turned me down. I wonder why you're not blaming me. Why won't I blame you? You are the manager. You are the one handling the force of the company. You should have stood your ground. Are you now seeing how much you are going to lose? Sir, what I'm seeing now, you are really under a spell. What do you mean by under a spell? Under whose spell? 
I'm not sure of anything. But my boss that I'm seeing now is different from the one I met this morning. Go back to the office. Go back to the office. I remedy the shortage of cars. I could I remove four million naira to shortchange myself. Any man that desires to marry Amanda is surely designing his obituary poster himself. Amanda is the Onoshilo B of this family and she's not going anywhere. I am the Alucine Elias of this land and if this scorpion fails to do that which made it scorpion, no children of nowadays will just pick it up and throw it into the fire. This is Dr. Mkemkolo. I presume I'm speaking with Miss Amanda Onodugo. Mm, how did you get my number, sir? <laughs> I am a senior lecturer in campus, and I can get any number that I wish. And why are you calling? Um, young lady, I am certain that the ambiguous money you are spending You cannot give such to contemptuous men something that should ideally belong to littered minds like us, epitome of excellence like me. And an erudite scholar. Um, I want you to make up your mind because I will have it for real before you pass my course. I'm scheduled to graduate this month, sir, and your course will be the only one holding me here. Why are you frustrating me after I've paid you a whooping 200,000 naira? Why are you threatening me? Madam, I am not threatening you. I am telling you what you must do to pass my course. The choice is you. Hello, Daddy. Good afternoon. How are you, Amanda? I'm fine, Daddy, but not really fine. What is the problem? I mean, what happened? Same doctor on Kenkolo, trying to keep me here beyond this month. Please, Amanda, break it down. What exactly has he done this time? See that man there. He knows that my daughter passed his course. And he is withholding her result, insisting that he must have carnal knowledge of my Amanda. My daughter refused and paid him off with 200,000 naira, which this man accepted, which the man already spent. Now he is back, asking the same thing. He test the woman in my daughter before releasing the result of the same course she passed already. The evil desire indeed. On the carnality, 
of his evil desire, I decree death on him. His death shall make headlines, and investigators shall spend days investigating into the cause of your death, and they will not be able to arrive at anything. But before then, you can follow. Before then, you are going to pay to our homes. They call you Dr. Nkampu and you believe it must always happen, just like you say. I saturate your environment with the praise of death. You shall experience this death when you shall experience it. Your death is going to come like breeze and it will live the same way. Practicing any form of mysticism, sir. What kind of useless, irrational, or do I say preposterous question is that? Sorry, sir. But the aura that we call my entry is not common. As this few all standing here right now. Or are you telling me you don't know anything about it? Listen, Charity. I am a busy man. If you cannot sit down and open the topic while you're here, that's when well leave my office. Leave. I am so short of words right now. Are you the one talking? I am the one talking. Wow, woo. Wonders shall never cease. You, Helen of all people, one of the lead designer babes of Unity University preaching the gospel. How is that even possible? Do not make jest of me and what I am saying. Look at the big pictures. We are supposed to live like future mothers. What kind of life are we living? Moving around the cities in Nigeria, sleeping with men for a fee is not the kind of life future mothers are supposed to be living. What happened to you? How could you change so fast? I mean, what did this to you, girl? The entrance of God's word is light and it gives life. You are my friend already and we've come a very long way. Suddenly I feel like a burden is lifted off my shoulders. And that is because I have surrendered under the supremacy of the gospel. You can have the same experience too. I just want you to decide and give your life to Christ. I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg. Just hold it there. I don't want to continue with this. I have my life to live and likewise you. If this is how you want to continue living your life, then personalize it. Do not make me a part of it. Have you heard? God's way is like foolishness to those that are going astray. Really? Is this what you think? That I am going astray? Helen, you are calling me names because you listen to that Miss Goody Two Shoes called Ifunaya. Isn't it? Sandra, I don't want you to see her as Ifunanya. See her as the vessel that God used to minister the gospel to me. You can have this sense of fulfillment and accomplishment that I already have. 
Just give your life to Christ. Hmm. Let me tell you, I am tired. Hmm? I want to go in, have a warm bath, and sleep. Okay? Don't you ever bother me with this nonsense again. If you want to continue with that thing called if man, that's your cup of tea. But let me warn you, you will soon regret it. Rubbish. Don't say I didn't and don't you ever come back to me with this rubbish again. Why you're putting up a misconstrued comprehension of words before a doctor of high repute? What were you saying yesterday? Many of the people that finally died in the physical actually key themselves in the spirit because they failed to stop when they were supposed to. You are one of them. Why do I have this? feeling that your attitude is being monopolized from somewhere, controlled from other source. I don't know what you're talking about. Why are you bent on frustrating me? That idiot is not frustrating you, my child. He is frustrating himself. And I'm going to prove it shortly. You must give me what I want if you're ready to leave this campus with others. The highest you can do is to report me to the Senate. And let me tell you here and now, the Senate cannot do anything about it. I am an institution in this institution, and people like you must live to it. Doctor Nkenkulu, I give you exactly what you asked. Why don't you just let me be? Look, money cannot free you because you have essence of it. You must give me what I want if you want to leave this campus with orders. Not something. In the next seven years or thereabout, I will still be the one teaching this course. So you have nowhere to run to. Give me what I want so you can graduate with orders. Give it to him. Give him what he wants. But one more time. You are going to speak my exact words. For that idiot must pay his office away today. Nothing. Nothing goes for nothing. What was that? Why did you lock the door? I don't want to drag this matter any further. Let's do it here and now. <laughs> oh. I am not disappointed at all. Now that you have done your own part, leave me to do my own part. I've already given you an A. A is guaranteed, darling. I want something else from you. Um, what could that be? Tell me, now that we have become one. I'm aware that you, as the head of department, are the one who signs the checks for all projects in the department, yeah? Absolutely, that's correct. You know, I'm well positioned in this university and a renowned member of the Senate. So even the vice chancellor can do without me. I know the amount now lodged in the department account. I'm aware of the amount that is lodged in the department account. I will come back in the evening to collect 15 million naira from you. I'm going to come back this evening to collect 50 million naira from you. 
go to the bank and withdraw it cash. Go to the bank, withdraw it cash. I trust you know how to go about it. I trust you know how to go about it. That is the price you have to pay for what you enjoyed. That's the price you pay for what you enjoyed. voice crying in the wilderness prepare ye the ways of the Lord and make his path straight I see a lonely heart a heart that is battling with indecision I have come to share with you the parable of the sower all your problems and indecision will come to an end by the time we get to the end of the topic had it been you did not exchange your manhood for power it would have been possible for you to get married to another woman who could possibly give you a son. But my Lord Ajani, you know that is no longer possible. I have already sacrificed my manhood for power. I cannot marry any woman because marrying a woman is an act of exposing myself. The woman will come in and she will find that I don't have it. I don't want that to happen. I want that doctor of letters that had the gods to take my daughter to be the one that will father that child she is going to be for me. This temple is all about power, command, and domino. We have nothing to do with reproduction. Oh, Greta Jenny, you are talking with a man who has gone very far in the metaphysical act of orchestration and manipulation. That is me. There are certain things you cannot tell a man like me. A temple that can take life should be able to give life. I know you can do this. That doctor of letters that already took my daughter in his office, I want that very act to translate into pregnancy so she can bear me the son. I know you can do it. Please, call it work. What manner of man is Jesus? Hallelujah! What manner of man is Jesus? Hallelujah! He walked upon the sea. one thing I will not tolerate here. This is my apartment where I come back to rest and I won't allow you to turn it into an extension of your scripture union thingy. Sandra, what has come over you? Do you mean to tell us that you don't have any respect for God? <laughs> Who is the God? This Miss Goody Two Shoes here. Huh? Please don't put on as if you don't know what I'm talking about. Listen. Stop coming here to deceive her. Have you heard me? Sandra, nobody is deceiving me. You are the one that is living a very wrong life. And you need God urgently. Ariel, can you get out of my place? Uh, 
We are going for Bible study. Will you come with us? Don't you dare provoke me with your depression. Leave my presence immediately! the zenith of all separation of charms. We humble ourselves before Lord Bermuda, our Lord spiritual. You are the mighty man in Zion. When girls who are committed to this sacred order see men with money, they would recognize them. Money makes the world go round. Why are you all complaining? Helen has compromised her vows. She now fellowships with members of the Scripture Union. And I believe they will turn her against this order soon. I have pastors who are my members. They need this sacramental to know their members who have money and those with nothing. They also need this sacramental to swindle their members into doing what they want. It is working for them. Helen is someone who has direct access to me. I know she would not compromise me by submitting herself to those men who are lined up to see me. Lord Bermuda, I am bothered about my integrity. Helen may tell these people she belongs to a cult and she may most likely mention my name she knows what to tell them that I must not do and they may force me to do it and if I don't, they will conclude I belong to a cult. I am giving you my word that Helen will not mention your name anywhere. Allow her to exploit her exuberance. She would come back to me in no due cause. That man I talked to you about has finally returned from Holland and he wants to marry me immediately. I don't know if I am permitted to get married. You dare not! Else you would have yourself to blame. You are all serving the masters, and it is their duty to decide when you will get married. I'm sorry, wise one, but are we under bondage? Why are we not allowed to be married? We are designer babes, and we always attract suitors. Why can't we be allowed to make a choice? You are tools in the hands of the masters to circulate demons of setbacks to those men who cannot see beauty and do That very moment I initiated you, 1,000 agents of setback in form of demons were conjured into you. Each time you sleep with a man, some demons leave you and enter the man. And you know it very well that none of you has stayed with up to 1,000 men since you were initiated. Why then are you thinking of getting married? What? We should sleep with 1,000 men? Sir, what? you do not explain this to us. I am telling you now, the choice is yours. Postpone that marriage and continue sleeping with those men until you empty yourself of those deposits that I would want you if you do otherwise. That marriage would be the beginning of your soul.
But this thing is not as simple as we thought. How can one woman sleep with one thousand men? Oh, please. Please, just forget about it. Forget about it. That's not a problem. Just think about making money. 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 Hmm? I'm not going to blame my mother because she did the best and teach me a good life. I'm doing everything possible to understand you right now. What have you lost? If my mother didn't die the time she died, I would still be on the path of honor. I wouldn't have been treading on this path that has brought me to realms. Ah, come on, Anita. What are you insinuating? That your life is ruined? How could you say that? You are a designer babe, wearing all the products of all the credible designers on earth. Hmm? Men are at your back and core. And what's more, your eyes are actually open to see the men that have money. Is there anything better than that? Why are you complaining, babe? Why? Hmm? So you believe all the things you mentioned are the things that make up the good life? I am a material woman and I've got no apologies. Any woman who doesn't wear good clothes, I mean, have so much money to spend around, is not living the good life. Mm -mm. You have all it takes to corner like three men in one day. Useless men are everywhere. Men that are so ready and eager to kiss and bang a woman they're just meeting for the first time. Keep giving them yourself and keep giving them the demons of setback from the masters. Before you know it, girl, you'll be free from the bondage to marry the man of your dreams. Mm -hmm. Do you think it's as easy as that? Do you know what it means for a woman to sleep with 1,000 men? Oh, please, Anita, do not disappoint the masters. What have given you everything already? Huh? Listen, they are after the fortunes of useless men. And they need us to get to those useless men. Keep giving them yourself. Huh? And before you know it, you'll be free to live the good life. <laughs> Let me ask you, how many girls, how many girls in Port Harcourt have all you have? How many? How many of them live the kind of life you live? Babe, you have everything now. You do. So please, stop complaining. Please, just think about it. Think about it. Hmm? Your roommate is an archangel. In a coffin where the fortunes of men are forced to take a nose dive. The salvation that you have now is the most important thing on earth. You must guide it with all zeal and determination. Pastor, I am ready to be directed. I don't want to go back to that coven again and I don't want to fall back to sin. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. First, believing in the resurrection power of the resurrected Christ. And this is what you did already. God is not asleep and he would meet you at the point of your need. If possible, do not go back to your room this night. The Bible said, do not be on equally yoked together with the unbelievers. 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 14. Who are the unbelievers? Unbelievers are people who oppose the teaching of Christ. People who see the teachings of the New Testament as a joke. I don't know where else to go to. And I don't want to return back to the wrong. You see, my dear, Sister, if you are here, we'll be happy to accommodate you 
in our place. The Bible says that we should not give the devil any chance. In the book of Luke, chapter 15, verse 7, the Bible says, There is joy in heaven over one soul that repents than one million souls that think they don't need repentance. I can tell you that Jesus is happy for you. There's nothing the devil can do to you. In the book of John chapter 10 verse 10, it says, the devil comes to steal, kill and destroy. But thank God for Jesus Christ that came to give us life, life more abundantly. You see, my dear, there's nothing the devil can do to you. You are sealed in the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. You will be so surprised that you will see any hotel room to book for a night. Men are the people booking all these rooms and you know exactly what they do in there. My dear, I've given you what you need to make all the money you need from men. Don't look back, please. When finally we decide to repent, all of us shall repent together. The liquid of my father, this is the first time I'm going to use you. My father, in his wisdom, believes you can do all things. Do not disappoint him. Successful businessman. Mm. My husband. And everything. You can say that again. You're going to go upstairs, take a shower, and then come down afterwards. I made your favorite. Mm. I want to celebrate the good news with you. You can say that again. The good news is worth celebrating. <laughs> no, for three years they refused to pay this money. The mayor felt that they paid this money and the check cleared. It's worth celebrating. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, and I'm certain that you're not going to have any issues with giving me the money I've been asking you for the past two months. <laughs> oh, are you? Oh, my sweet Millicent, you know you have all that I have. <laughs> you don't need to bother yourself. <laughs> the money is equally yours. Oh, yeah? Uh, of course, I, I am 
sleeping in this house tonight. We have all the time to discuss about this. Your business expansion. Come on, let me take my shower. Okay then. See you at the dining. Hello? You are in this town. Am I right or wrong? Yes, you're right. I'm in town. I'm actually at home with my lovely wife. Cancel every plan you have in place. I need to see you tonight. Where? At the Blater's Bar. Meet me at the VIP wing of the lounge. It's all right. I'm on my way. Immediately. Oh, honey, where are you going to? I, ah. thought you, I, I thought you were supposed to stay at home tonight. Something just came up. And I had to go and saw it. Baby, baby, we were getting set for dinner. Have you forgotten? Besides, you said you, you, you were going to sleep at home today. And I have not told you that I'm not coming back. Something just came up. I must leave now. But, babe, babe you, you can do this some other time. Okay? Just... Listen, woman. I said that something just came up. Please, I am coming back before you sleep, right? He is doing this for he has already fast forwarded his funeral when he started lusting after my daughter and actually testing the woman in her. Now he is designing his obituary poster. <laughs> he must continue to pay. Men must continue to pay for desiring to test the woman in my daughter until they pay their lives away. Oh, stop talking like a child, Chief Menu. There's something in this hotel suite that is mightier than the wives of men. Me. I'm like the eagle. People do not see me often. Learn to glorify the eagle. Now that you're here with the eagle, you never know when...
I am so impressed with your boldness in Christ. My dear, continue to profess this your newly found faith and watch God expand your coast. Let us pray. Where would you rather be, darling? <sighs> Aren't you feeling good being here with me? Hmm? Uh, yeah, I'm young, Basking in my glory. <laughs> anyway. Receiving my arrow. <laughs> hmm, how was your day? Tell me about your day. Tell me. Let's go. Hmm? That's good. So what did you achieve? Oh, shut up. This is your home. <laughs> I'm your home. <laughs> when you're with me, you're home. Another kind of home. Heavenly home. Paradise. Galaxy. <laughs> no, no, no. Do not take that call, darling. That's not really a call from my wife. I'm your wife now. She continues when you get home. Now that you're here with me, I don't want her to interfere. <laughs> Stop playing. I'm going to spank you. Why is Manu doing this to me? Where did I go wrong as a wife? Yes, uh, don't worry. <laughs> Stop it, don't worry, she'll be okay. Relax, just try to relax, okay? <sighs> my husband. I am going to spare you, woman, for it is clear you love your husband. But unfortunately, we are already in this business and we are wired never ever to look back and we are not looking back. That you succeeded in making me spend the night here is not why I am surprised. I am surprised with the level of information you have on me. Are you sure you are not police undercover? I'm a designer, babe. For the better part of my adulthood, I've been handling designer materials. Even the police department cannot afford to pay a woman like me. So please, don't even go there. The money we are talking about here cleared in my personal account just yesterday. Apart from my wife that I told that the money cleared, even my manager does not know that the money dropped. How come you know? Calm down. When a woman loves a man, she goes out of her way to find out everything about him. Count yourself lucky that I love you. I'm scared about that kind of love. <laughs> I am Amanda, the only daughter of Ichie Onodugo. When I set out to get something, I succeed. What do you want from me? Money, money, money. Um, how much is that? 10 million naira. And I need the money before 10 a.m., drive to the bank, remit the money to my account. Do not delay. Do not delay. If you do. If you do. You will see the other side of me. You will see the other side of me. Don't allow me to show you that other side. Don't make me show you that side. You will not like. 
like that side. You would not like that side of me. It is the side of death. It is the side of death. Do you understand the gravity of what you did? You embezzled the money kept under your care as the head of the department. That's a criminal offense that could send you to jail. Are you not aware of that? With all due respect, Dave, why are you twisting this matter as if you didn't get what I already explained? I was articulate with my words. Dr. Nkemukulu, you are not making any sense. You are not making any sense to me. Explain to me where you kept this money. If you fail to explain, I will send your report to the VC and the Senate. And you know the implications. You will be fired. Yes. And you may be jailed. If you are lucky not to be jailed, you will not be employed by any tertiary institution in this country. You will not. Um, I never believe in hypnotism. But I find it unbelievable that I was finally hypnotized and withdrew all the money in my custody. Dr. Nkemkulu, the report reaching us from the bank said you withdrew the money in cash. I need an explanation on where you kept a whopping 50 million naira. I need an explanation right away. Sincerely, madam, I don't know where this money is. I know I have a hopeless case. Here. But I did not embezzle any money. As we speak, I cannot remember where the money is. Honey, you told me only yesterday that the check which was given to you from Ministry of Environment had cleared. Have you forgotten we're getting set to celebrate before you unceremoniously left the house? What are you saying now? Uh, something came up, as I already explained to you. And I spent the money I had wanted to give you. I will soon get money from another source and solve your problem. Honey. Are you sure you're not under attack? What do you mean by under attack? Under whose attack? You are my husband, and I am your wife. You are so different now. Things have changed. And it's, it's affecting me as a woman. Well, do not allow yourself to be consumed by nothing. There is nothing wrong with me. I promise you money, and I will find that money. This is my word. And my word is my bond. This is not the man I am. No. Something is... Something is wrong. I don't even have a clue to what it is. Doing that. What's happening up there? Why are you looking at me like that? I am looking at you like that because you are that daughter of mine that I love with everything in me. Look at you, Abanda. You have become a complete woman. <laughs> Thank you for the compliment, Dad. But I came to tell you that I finally graduated. Wow. Yes, Dad. That's so nice. <laughs> Thank I'm happy that you have the certificate. But to me, my dear. The certificate is not as important as the reproduction. I am lost, Dad. What do you mean by reproduction? Hi, babes. How are you? Hey, darling. How are you? Uh, actually, I'm standing by your door. Where are you? Oh, my goodness, Ferdinand. I'm not there. I'm home visiting my father. I came to tell him that I finally graduated. Hey, you didn't tell me you'd be traveling. Well, it's all good. So how's your father? He's wonderful. 
He's standing next to me, flattering me as always, like never before. <laughs> <laughs> that is girl. Ah, well, well, well. When am I going to see the man that fathered my angel? You will, baby, soon, very soon. I think he'll be delighted to meet you as well. At least I'm graduate now. Yeah, I'm graduated and nothing can stop me. Mm, you can say that again. I believe you. It's all good. Let me let you be, okay? Yeah, I will see you when you come around. All right, darling. Love you, baby. I love you too. Ciao. Hey, Dad, that's Ferdinand. My fiancé I told you about. I don't want to talk about that now. Ferdinand. Oh, Madam Joanne, good afternoon. I am surprised you are entering an open grave and you are still greeting good afternoon. Oh, um, I don't understand. Has it not occurred to you that that lady you are dating is terribly possessed? I know your type. You have issues with Amanda. And the only way you think you can pay her back is to say damaging things about her to her friends and possibly suit us, isn't it? I can confirm to you immediately that I don't have any issue with Amanda. I am talking to you like a sister because I know that you don't know where you are entering. Hey, hey, save it. I'm not interested, okay? Save it. The Spirit of God is telling me that if you think deep, you might remember something. The only thing I know is that I've been losing money. Uh, but asking me what is happening and what could have been the cause, I can't just explain. I can't just explain. Sir, we live in the end time where a lot of demons have been working yes. against the people. We are going to fast and pray for seven days. And sir, I want you to be committed in it. God Almighty will make a name for himself. Pastor, if you ask me, I'll tell you that my husband here needs deliverance. Come on, Millicent. What's that? How could you say a thing like that? It's true. So she's talking because she is bothered as a wife. There is merit in what she said. Shall we rise for prayers? What a mighty God we serve.
you are exceptional. And that is why I have decided to give you this, to show my appreciation. It may not be up to what you are expecting, but please take it from me. It's from my heart. What did you do? Are you telling me you have some mystic powers on or what? I forgive you because I can see you're trying to survive. I know what lousy Alhajis like you do. You use the girls and then you sacrifice them with your evil money. Next time you're looking for a woman to sacrifice, be careful. Avoid getting the one that will sacrifice you instead. Are you living without any money at all? Bermuda Triangle is more powerful than all the masters in the desert. It is stupidity that makes men to allege that the people that wallow in the desert are stronger than those that wallow by the sea. For reasons best known to me, I don't need your desert money. to prevent this girl from getting married because the woman I am looking at can never get married there are certain things you will say and you will force me to lose interest in you watch your language no you are the one that will mind what will come out of your mouth before you open the mouth how can you tell me that my own daughter Amanda will never be married whereas there is already a Ferdinand who has proposed to her. And my daughter in her stupidity has actually accepted to marry the so-called Ferdinand. So how could you tell me that she, 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 she would never be married? The question should be, why would you want me to prepare a charm that would prevent your own daughter from getting married? Because she is all that I have. I don't have anyone else. My wife is late. And for a reason best known to me, I do not want to marry any other woman. I don't want her to marry this Ferdinand. I want you, Uwebun of Elbago, to make me the mother of all the shams you have ever made in your life. I don't want her to marry. I want her to remain with me and continue to be a children for me. Children from you or from other men? Oh, from other men, of course. Yes, I, I, I agree with those that say I am an evil man. But I am not an abominable man that will go into his own daughter. I am not. I want you to make me a sham that will prevent my daughter from getting married to anybody. I don't want her to marry Ferdinand. Tell me how much this sham is going to cost and consider it paid. Listen to me. I came all the way from Enugu to consult you because I know there is something you can do. Tell me how much this sham is going to cost and consider it paid. I can pay anything. Hmm? You have presented this matter before an occult priest and I know he told you something. Why would you come to Ebago before the one and only Obwebuna of Ebago to dig your own grave? Nodugo. I don't want to discuss personal decisions as made by you concerning your life. I can see a man coming to marry your daughter. His arrival is already creating tension in your part of manipulation. That should be your concern and not the activities and inquiries of some of ambitious girls. I came to you because I believe you, you can do it. 
let me tell you something that I know. There is something about our local charm that is superior to orthodoxy, superior to cultism, and superior to ritual. I want you to make me charm, very potent charm that will prevent Amanda from marrying anybody. I want her to remain with me and continue to be a children for me in my house. How much will it cost? All my life, I've practically done everything my father ever asked. But asking me to leave you is the climax. But, um, wait a minute. What's this reason for you not to get married? Maybe. There are some things I just don't want us to discuss. His reasons are his. They have nothing to do with me. You asked me to marry you and I already accepted because I love you. We are proceeding to get married with or without my father. You're not saying anything, baby. Don't tell me you don't want to proceed with the marriage because of what my father said. I love you. I really, really love you. I love you too, baby. Yes, I do. I made some background check about you. You did what? Honey, you don't need to be surprised, okay? You should know that a man who genuinely wants to marry a woman should seek to know her. And what did you find out? <sighs> to tell her. There is something weird about your father. Yes. He has done so many things and so many things. And you? You've done so many things you cannot even remember. He manipulated you with all evil parts that he got from the land where witchcraft is celebrated. So I'm sorry to say, but your father is a true devil's incarnate. His advocate. Ferdinand, why are you saying all this? Sweetheart. Where are you getting all this from? I mean, where are all this from? Sweetheart, you should know by now that nothing is hidden under the sun. Honey, come closer. I'll proceed with the marriage. Yes, I'll marry you. But on one condition. What condition? You submit yourself for deliverance. Yes. And this deliverance may lead to restitution. And that means you will have to forfeit all the ill-gotten wealth you accumulated with the charms of your father. Then we'll confront your father. The good news is, he too can be delivered. But then, the big question is, are you ready to serve God? And will your father be ready to submit himself for deliverance? Baby, do you know how much I'm worth? Do you want me to give up all this? To make him a wife is not the only reason why God brought us together. Okay? Believe me, he is interested in your soul. And as the one you love, I want you to listen to me. And I can 
listening to the words of the Lord. Okay, sweetheart. I'm at the Pentagon Suites as we speak. A wonderful opportunity just presented itself and you're the only one I can remember. <laughs> Forget about those nonsense born again people and come and make real money. Hmm? Born again is an express command of God himself. Like he told Nicodemus, that except a man is born again, he will never see the kingdom of God. Why are you calling it nonsense? I'm calling it nonsense because it's actually nonsense. You cannot pay your bills. Sandra, I will end this call now. Oh, no, 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 no. Please, my love, do not hang up, okay? Listen, I met one Al Haji Gambo. He's the richest man I have ever seen. As I speak to you, he already bought me a car. <laughs> a Lexus, to be precise. <laughs> he asked me to come with a girlfriend of mine. Hmm? Because he's interested in so some. Don't worry, he has a lot of money to pay. Big money. Sweetheart, just come and make some money at the Pentagon Streets. I mean, tomorrow you can go back to your God and ask for forgiveness. Like he told me, he would definitely forgive you, right? Sandra, 1 John chapter 3, verse 9 says, But whosoever is born of God does not commit sin. And as long as the seed remained in him, he does not sin. Come back to Christ, for his steadfastness never ceases, and his mess never comes to an end. Didn't you hear what I said? I said I'm in a hotel. Yes, I met a billionaire. As I speak to you, I am with a billionaire. He bought me a car, and I know he will buy the same for you. Definitely, gay. you know you hit more than me now. Come and handle this man like you used to do. Definitely he will buy your car. Hmm? You are my friend, Sandra. The path you are following will lead to confusion, sorrow, and if possibly, death. Come back to Jesus. Helen, you're so stupid. If I get out of my phone, I don't understand. You just, just Hello, get the baby. fuck out of my phone. What's up, man? Excuse sorry. me? Sorry. Why about... are you in my path? What's this? Sorry, sorry. I'm Baron de la Bivy. You may ask around. And they will confirm to you that I'm deadly when it comes to making a woman feel real good. You know something? <laughs> I can, I'm a professional playboy and I can make you feel real good. You don't need that old man. Mm. Now you listen to me, okay? Baby. I don't roll with playboys. Mm. They are broke ass. Not me. They ain't got money to pay bills. I roll with money bags, alright? So just Get the fuck Hello, out of my baby. Fight. Come on. Please get out. You're so dirty. I know your ties. You will come to me. You will come looking for Baron de We must never give up on Sandra. We must continue to preach the gospel to her and we must pray for her as well. Listen, she's our friend, remember.
Oh, you're dressed up already. I thought you were going to wait for me. Let's dress up together and live together. Hmm? I got you a car, you remember? Oh, I do. That is for you to make your own moves. I know. <laughs> I have business to catch up. Okay. Here is $2,000 for you. <gasps> My token to appreciate how you handled me last night. <laughs> you are the best. Thank you so much. <laughs> Oh my god, thank you, thank you. Mwah. Mwah. <laughs> thank you. See you later. Okay, okay. Bye. Bye. I love money bags. I love to mingle with them. Oh my god! Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Mm. Oh, for me. You see, but what is the meaning of this? You mean you came into my compound and actually made your way into my living room simply to insult me or what? Let me tell you the truth. I am ready to die now. If you like, go inside, pull down your useless pistol and shoot me. I must tell you the truth and you must listen to that truth. What nonsense truth are you telling me? What useless truth are you saying? Oh, I can see. You have finally made up your mind to die. And you want to come in here and have me kill you and have your worthless blood in my hands? It's not possible, I know more than that. Listen to me. When you are done provoking your grandfather and not me, you can actually hit the gate. The people that will kill you will locate you outside and they will kill you like a chicken. If you fail to give a heart in marriage, I'll do that myself. What did I hear you say? You heard me. Amanda, your daughter, and Fernand, her fiance, called me last night. And I listened to them. It dawned on me that you are indeed a man without a conscience. Devil's incarnate, possibly devil's advocate. You want her to remain unmarried? I tell you the truth, you lie. It will never happen. If you don't bless that marriage, I'll bless it myself. Bet me on this. <laughs> oh, your proverb makes no sense to me anymore. She's equally my daughter. I'll bless the marriage and she will enjoy the marriage. She will enjoy the marriage. This idiot has not even married my daughter. And already, he is ganging up with my family members, my enemies, to frustrate me. Fidland, you are calling me Sheibe on the phone to come and warn me. Ferdinand, I don't even know where you are from, but you are dead. You are so dead because I will kill you and your family members will not even find a corpse that they will bury. Onodugo. Let me tell you the truth. She's equally my daughter. I will bless her and she will enjoy that marriage. If you don't give her out in marriage, I will equally give her out in marriage. I will bless her and she will enjoy that marriage. You want her to remain unmarried? It's not possible. It will never happen. I say it will never happen. No. Let me tell you the truth. Ha -ha. She will enjoy that marriage. Her mysterious death has something to do with the man that took her yesterday. The same man that bought.
Even you for all the evil you manipulated me into doing. What you need now is to humble yourself before God and ask for salvation. I have experienced the peace that come with assurance of salvation and you can experience the same. What exactly have you been telling my daughter? The truth. Nothing but the truth. And that has set her totally free. What useless truth are you talking about? That you've been deceiving me all my life, Father. That room you kept locked since I was a child. The room you said the masquerade lives there. There's no masquerade in there, Father. Rather, there is the port of charm you imported from the land where witchcraft is celebrated. Could this be the rubbish I've been telling my daughter? Oh, it's no rubbish, Father, and you know this. You've manipulated me all my life, Father. You even sacrificed your manhood to acquire powers. That's why you kept me here to produce children for you. Isn't that what you call reproduction? Deny it, Father. Who the hell do you think you are? You think you can come from nowhere to set my daughter up against me? You sure not do good if you say not. How can you see the lives of any before God? Don't kill you? titles, Father, they mean nothing. They mean nothing. We already destroyed the pot of manipulation. What you need right now is Christ. That's what you need. Christ. What? Forget these things, they are powerless. We already destroyed it, there's no power. Denounce these things, Papa. So what you need is salvation that comes with Christ. That's what you need. Hey, shut up, just shut up. Do me one favor. Talk to this imbecile you brought along with you. Ask him to get out of this compound this minute because I want to speak with you like a father to a daughter right now. I am going nowhere. For salvation has come upon this house. By the way, what are you doing with this? What are you doing with this fetish thing? Denounce this! And God will accept you. Say Jesus, Father! Say Jesus! Say Jesus! There's power in the name of Jesus! Say Jesus! I don't know, I don't know. Say Jesus! <laughs> 